So it's been one week, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Amazon still hasn't allowed anybody to put reviews up of this show. In a very long 72 hours. <laughs> yep. I've checked my review, and every time I check my review, it's like, oh, would you like to publish this? I'm like, yes, publish. I'm like, okay, we're publishing it. Refresh page. Would you like to publish this? <laughs> like... The reviews are having an effect. Amazon is scared. Like, they, they wouldn't do this if they wouldn't, because you got to understand how bad this looks for the normies. Like, hold on, why why can't I review this? Why are they holding reviews for 72 hours? It's been 72 hours. Why aren't there any reviews? Like, the normies may be sheep, but they're not idiots. Yep, it's a big oh. red flag. Well, do you guys think this will be like the Amy Schumer special, where eventually Amazon just takes out the, the ability to review because of this? Like entirely, in, like in perpetuity. That would yeah. Be funny. <laughs> oh Jesus, that'd be it, funny. It might be because it would avoid uh, further headaches, but like it's already too late. The Rings of Power is a joke, and it is going to be held up as an example of uh, like bad corporate production for a decade to come. Wait, what's all that clicking? Is it? Are you like fidget spinning arch or something? Yes, I'm trying to hold it as far away from the microphone as I can, but I've got one of those grip trainers that I'm using to keep myself awake right now. Oh, that's right. We're doing this at 6 a.m. your time. Jesus. Oh, my God. Hang in there, Blondie. Somebody send that yes. man a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I've had two, but at this point, I just need to do something, and uh, the grip trainer exhausts me enough to keep me awake. <laughs> Jesus. So on the, the, the Prime Video site for Canada... It does show, at the very least, the IMDb score, which is 6.7% currently. Yep, it so, shows sorry, the 6. same 10, for yeah. US. Yeah? All right. And but, that but... is after massive censorship. Yes. Uh -huh. Jesus. That's that's, that's, that's a pretty big oof. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Arch, you and I both talked about hate watching. I mean, it turns out that putting out reviews does, in fact, have an effect. I think we were both correct on that. Yeah, like, obviously, like, you gotta remember, the normies, their only real frame of reference is the reviews. Like, they don't watch us, they don't even watch the mainstream media, they look at IMDb, they look at Rotten Tomatoes, and go, okay, is this show good? And those that do look at reviews notice that the market's been cornered, because Amazon has removed the reviewing system, well, now our reviews are even getting more hits than they otherwise would. Yep, and then yep. they get suspicious. Like, hold on, why aren't there any reviews for this show? Mm -hmm. And then they might actually go to Google and go, like, Rings of Power Reviews. And then yep. the shit will pop up. Thank you, algorithm. And speaking of actually watching it on Prime Video, I got raked over the coals last week for because the fact that, that like, we streamed it from Prime Video. I, listen, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell Kibbs up the river right now. It wasn't me. Kibbs is the one presenting this, the feed to you guys. I wouldn't watch this on Amazon. I, I would pirate this if I was going to do it. You can definitely blame me for it. No big deal. Like, I, I use Amazon because I live out in the middle of Minnesota in the middle of nowhere, right? I ain't yeah. going to the Twin Cities. I saw it burn down. I'm not going <laughs> So a few things have happened. Before we start, we'll just I, I just want to give you a, a couple of a little bit more context, okay? So in the week, the week since since we've all, you know, convened and the and the reviews haven't been been allowed to be posted, we've started to see stuff like this. For example, Amazon's The Rings of Powers. The Rings of Powers is what the is what the the, the, the article says. Is not for purists or racists. <laughs> And this article. They're conflating the two. <laughs> yes, they're conflating people who care about Tolkien's lore and sticking to the story with racism. You might not like it if you're a purist or a racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know the show's good. Like they have to fall behind that and just accuse anybody who might criticize it of, "Well, you just don't like my show because you're a fucking racist." <laughs> and hey, I admit, I do not like the diversity. And so far, the diversity has been the only real genuine sign of wokeism. But the thing is, I don't uh, dislike the diversity because they're brown. I dislike the diversity <laughs> because this is a fantasy setting where they don't exist. And here's the thing too, nothing is stopping them from making a story with a diverse cast. Like, we mentioned the last time, they have a village in the Southlands, like in an area that should be on the border of Rune or Kandar. These people should be brown, and yet they are white. To your villages, guess, normally will but have, you see, uh, caring about lore is a sign of uh, racism, apparently. 
Yeah, we don't want that. So it's got to be an ethno state village. <laughs> See, I had this um, talk about the um, Lightyear movie and the lesbian kids because a lot of people are up in arms about that. And I looked at, I was like, this is nothing. Like, it's a loving family. It's a quick peck on the lips. This is not a problem. Yeah. But you got to remember who put it in there. And, and suddenly, why? it's not just a loving family and a peck on the lips. It is the agenda. There's a I, reason I don't know. why I, it's there. I still think that, that wasn't a big deal, to be honest. It's just, uh, whatever. They, they didn't do anything with it. It's okay for me. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I, I just dislike the underhanded nature. If they, if they just have it in there, and it's like, oh, it's just a thing Look, that happens in the story, not a big deal. I just think they're cowards for only depicting female and female lesbian relationships. We need full-on... Male, male, gay sex. That's that's <laughs> when you know they're truly brave. And they got to play it in Saudi Arabia. Yes. No, no, zero censorship. <laughs> Sounding oh. brave. Well, in the face of all of this racism and all of these racist negative reviews, we, we, we had the official Twitter account of the show post, we stand in solidarity with our cast. And it's they're, they're doing the same thing that like like was done in regards to um, Moses Ingram for the Kenobi show. And every show right now that's getting blasted for being a t just a terrible piece of shit. It, this, always, this always ends up happening, right? The official Twitter yeah. account comes out, posts a big long diatribe. Everyone's like cheering it on and going, yes, Queen Slakes. It's fucking Twitter and it's, it's a garbage pile. You can almost predict these things. You know, it's like it's like you're in the Matrix, and you can you can just see all of it instead of the code. You can see exactly what they're gonna do, exactly what they're gonna say before it even happens. Well, you can see it. anybody can see it from a while away. It's just like it's it's the go-to for any big corporate project, especially Disney-led. In relation to all of this, did you guys see the new Lord of the Rings: The Rings of Power merch? No, I haven't. Amazon got together the four original actors for for the Hobbits, the four Hobbits. And, and they're peddling these hats and t-shirts that say in Elvish, you are all welcome here. And then it shows a bunch of different ears, human ears and elf ears of all different colors. That's the dumbest and boringest thing I think I've ever heard from merch. It's the cringiest <laughs> fucking thing I've seen in a while. Like, not like cool little figurines or soldiers or action characters or nope. maybe like a cool comic or something that looks atrocious that looks so sad <laughs> yeah so if you want to support okay. rings of power you got to buy this t-shirt or, or else you're one of the racists <laughs> oh, they also look so old and sad like they don't look no, like they want to even be even there look, how does, it doesn't even jump out and scream this is lord of the rings come on kibs yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. Show your thirty support. fucking nine ninety nine for that. Are for you sure. shitting me for a shitty shirt that has some sort of stains on it? <laughs> I also need to point out that um, Look, just like eat. the Riva thing, Ismail Cruz, the black elf, also had on day one on launch the announcement that he was receiving racist hatred. Yeah, in fact, I remember that because I said this again in my Kenobi video, where Disney basically told Moses Ingram, uh, you're going to get racist shit for this, and we're kind of mm -hmm. counting on it because that becomes a really good headline. <laughs> Please tell us as soon as you get anything. <laughs> Man, we really are at the point where it's like, in, in, in order to help the grand political project, you must watch the worst fucking dog shit TV imaginable. And if nothing else, it will send yet another loud and clear message to Amazon. Because also, the various companies have been turning. Again, I keep saying, you can't give up just because it didn't happen instantly. That all of these companies went unwoke instantly. It takes months and years for them to do anything. And at the end of the day, it's very simple. Reward good stuff, punish bad stuff, and sooner or later, the message will shine through. Well, I think it's time for this episode to shine through. Are you guys, you guys ready? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, Season 1, Episode 3. Uh, Adar? Adar? Adar. I think this might be the uh, corrupted elf we heard about. Let's roll. All right. So I keep hearing that this guy might not be Sauron, but Gandalf. Mahler was telling me that. I, if it is, my homeland, 
that would be an even bigger law break than it being Sauron, because Gandalf is alive right now. Like, he's in the uh, the land to the west. He's a person. Like, he went to uh, Middle-earth on a mission, uh, along with the other wizards. He didn't just fucking dump there one day. Yeah, it could be... See, I could see it being a red herring, because it's, it's too obvious. But it's one of those things where, like, okay, then who is? <laughs> Maybe they just killed them. Maybe we'll never see him again. Wouldn't that be lovely? That would be nice. You want me to skip the intro, by the way? I can if you want. Dev likes the intro, doesn't he? Uh... You know, this is something else that shows do these days, where they're like... They make things like this to be epic. Because they somehow believe that they deserve it. Like, they haven't achieved anything yet, and it's like, Oh my god, look at this! Arr. It was also popularized by Game of Thrones with that, honestly, really good opening intro with all of the clockwork machinations and shit, and now everyone does it. Yeah. Well, to be fair, um, House of the Dragon's doing a kind of decent one, but it's like flowing wax or something. I think it's blood. What? I'd imagine. I think it's blood? Yeah. Well, the entire idea of the Targaryens is that, you know, their blood is special. Yeah, it's I guess. The blood so. of the Targaryens flowing. The orcs have elected to not kill their arch enemy, the elf. For some reason. That's because they're actually misunderstood, okay? Here we have the Ku Klux Klan orcs. <laughs> In their hoods. Yeah, why are they all wearing hoods? Because it makes them look more KKK ish. But it's the entire garrison! Oh my god, what the fuck, fuck happened? They all got We're still in Nevs! What the they fuck? They suck! So like, we you, you guys were, for us alive. You, you guys were soldiers! You had weapons in the tower! I... What oh happened god. and why didn't we see that? Alright, well now we know why she didn't run to the garrison, because the garrison was already <laughs> run by a tiny box. And before this guy saw on. Is it Black Queen time? I didn't Maybe know the Numenor 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 Numenor. so diverse. Well, you know, it's the modern day. My dagger. My ice climbing pick. Oh, time for some more grand CGI, I think. So is it just me, or does she only have one facial expression through this entire show? Constantly petulant, yes. Yeah, it seems it's like, like it. It's like women aren't allowed to express themselves Slightly anymore. Slightly constipated. Slightly constipated. And here's the thing, you can do that kind of a character. You can do like a, you know, the 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 female hero from Kill a Kill or something, but it doesn't work with Galadriel, that's kind of the point. She has a character, yeah. And even then, like, Ryoko from Kill a Kill, her emotion was at least vivid, anger, <laughs> <laughs> just anger, whereas she's just kind of mildly annoyed at everything around her. Again, it's a strong female character. The chick from House of the Dragons, the same, frumpy. It's like, that seems to be the emotion of the strong female character. Like Rey, too, constantly petulant. Look, she has to deal with men, okay? That's enough. <laughs> we, uh, we should tell Galadriel to smile more. <laughs> Cancelled. In the Great Wall, your ancestors stood with Morgoth. How the fuck do you know his ancestry? Do you smell it on him? <laughs> hold on, I, hold on. I, I'm noticing this now. She's rolling every single R when it's a foreign word. It feels like, this is going to be a Canadian joke. It feels like she's rolling up the rim to win. So Sauron is already here because he's turning them against the elves. I think as time drifted, they, I, I don't remember 100%, but I believe the Numenorians did drift apart from the elves. Before yeah, but a lot of that was specifically Sauron. Kassaron comes in to play off the the whole thing about, like, oh, Valar, they're denying you the immortality. And like, oh, how dare well, they? Some people are saying that this this guy is Sauron. This guy? I could see it. It, it would be really cringe, but I could see it. And, and they're going to do, like, a Galadriel-Sauron romance? Oh, where stop. She, where she gets betrayed. <laughs> I don't think they would do that. <laughs> The worst part is I can see it. I don't want to. <laughs> but, like, it could be bad if it is. You're near a fight. Untermage. 
wait, he was checking her out. True. I mean, she's still wearing the bathrobe they found her in. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yes, the black <laughs> queen of the Numenorians. Smells nasty in there. I know Aragorn was black. Galadriel of the Noldor. Every R, man. Golden house of Pinarfen. Did the Numenor continue his mercy? Yes, she does it all every goddamn hour. Why our request? He's Sauron. Look at how charismatic he is. We can't have a competent male. I am still not sure that the show isn't going to do a Witcher thing and turn out that there's like five fucking Saurons. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to bed then. <laughs> he does have to be evil. He's going to be evil, yeah. For longer than you know. I, he is teeth. raising some flags, it's true. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> so I was like, I want to get a little bit, you know, just a little something before I become a Dark Lord. Yeah, oh, is he someone we should know? That's yep. a sealed door. Oh. The guy we're just seeing there in that scene a second ago. Yep. Right. Ellen Neal's son is a sealed door. Right, the guy who ends up with the one ring in the intro of Fellowship. Yep. Correct. Oh, is it time for Isildur to debate his bravery? Prove you're not just a nepotism hire. <laughs> Those sales are very stupid, I just want to point that out. Sometimes the cinematography makes me think this might be a good show. And then I am reminded by <laughs> what we're watching. The sea is always right! The sea is a Karen. There you are. Jesus. Those are some Shapiro milkers. You can also mean elf friends. And are you? Wait, hold on. Are they persecuting him based on his last yes. name? Yep. So in the lore, didn't didn't Numenor sink into the ocean? Yes. They yeah. broke the ban. Yeah, it's it's basically just like um Atlantis. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Atlantis. It was just murder. And then the Numenorians became the kings of Gondor. Uh -huh. Are all of the orcs just pale white now? We shall go around. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah weren't they like? Members. Yeah, they were black skinned before, weren't they? Yeah, like not necessarily uniformly black, but they certainly aren't that white. You just earned your company. A water ration. Very educated. Uh, Works too. Very smooth spoken. I recently watched all three of the uh, original movies with Naomi, and they they basically seemed like anarchists that that Sauron whipped into shape, but only temporarily. I mean, they're intended to be wild and animalistic, brutish. Gonna get it. No! Oh Jesus. Okay. I mean, one of them was gonna die. You could tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, that is not bleeding much for a fucking neckwood. I mean, he's nope. not dead, dude. No, what the <laughs> fuck? He's not dead. No, nope, he's dude, dead. He's barely bleeding. He's fine. Like I've, or, I mean, I've had worse <laughs> shaving accidents. <laughs> Listen, Arch. El up. Elves only have a little bit of blood in them. All right. I will cut the dog. Apparently, um, he's not dead. No, no, don't leave him. He's not. Never fucking mind. He died he's now. Dead. <laughs> dead shows he's us dead. he's dead. Okay, very well, TV show. That is a and very also, stupid axe. And also, it's like, okay, great job. Now you have less people to cut down the trees. Like, could Amazon not afford the ketchup? They're gonna be there a while, dude. Takes a lot to cut down yeah. trees. Yeah. Well, yeah. At least the orcs don't like being in the sun, except for the fact that they were standing in the sun. Except for when they do, <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I was gonna, I was gonna compliment them on that touch. I was like, oh, you know that, and then they do that. <laughs> As they're all standing in the sun, like, yeah, it's whatever. Uh, show. Yeah. Hide your ears. It's the only identifiable feature of an elf, at least in this universe where they're just humans. Yeah, I guess if you were an elf on a stealth mission and it were, you know, not this show, you'd just be glowing down the hallway. It's like, oops. Managed to escape your throat. Fucking bloodthirsty. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Immediately jumps to start. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Did you say ride? 
I guess she likes riding horses. Caleb. Also, Caleb. I want to point out something as well here. Uh, Elendil was called Elendil the Tall as one of his names because he was like two and a half meters. <laughs> well, maybe they couldn't quite do that. I mean, they can't make the hobbits look small, so I guess it would be difficult to make him look tall. Quit pointing out these things, Arch, okay? Well, who the fuck are you gonna get to play him, Yao Ming? Yes? Well, the thing is, in the Lord of the Rings movies, they managed to use tricks to make the characters look taller or smaller. Oh god, is that Galadriel's smile? Please, <laughs> go back. Yes. Go back to go back to being we never, grumpy. We did not know what we asked no, for. No, what the fuck? Stop! <laughs> Actually, that's kind of great. Like she looks like a fucking shark smile. I bet it looks sadistic <laughs> and evil. It's better than just having her perma skull for the entire show. Yeah, I guess, I guess maybe. I don't know. Where did you get money from? He probably pickpocketed it. He's stealing from everyone. You take next. Your guild seal. Don't no, no, the seal. <laughs> he doesn't give a <laughs> fuck. That's funny. Oh, they're mad. He's too charismatic. <laughs> I will, yeah. You know what? I, I will say he's at least, like, interesting in a way that the first two episodes weren't. Yep, and there goes the Gilded Crests. He just, yep. he just, he's sniping it. Yep. yep. He's got it. Yep. I mean, he's the... He's, yeah, no, he's better than Disa. He's the most interesting character so far, just because I can't tell if he's just a lovable rogue or Sauron. He's too... he's too good. I'm hoping he's just a lovable rogue, because it just would be more interesting. Oh, uh -oh. they noticed. Darn. Really thought I, wouldn't notice. I mean, your captain didn't notice lifting a fucking dagger off him, so... Why not? Come on! Because apparently he's ridiculously good at fighting. <laughs> Charismatic, very. Oh! Nice. Ridiculously strong. Fucking rude. But he is that's, strong. Uh, I mean, that's not human strength. That was that was the entire fucking arm bone there. That was quick. Self defense. At least, at least the police force <laughs> is good. Quick response time. There's no Second Amendment on Numenor, though. True. There's a lot of scrolls. You think they'd have books by now? Listen, yeah, but scrolls are more fancy and old timey. That's yeah, I guess. So. Oh, there's a book. There's a few books. Oh, well, well, they combine books and the scrolls for the worst possible <laughs> keepage of knowledge. Good. They haven't made. They haven't made the transition fully over yet. They got one guy copying it and use it really slowly. Yeah, the Numenor story has been accelerated. I don't mind it. What is this? Stuff's actually happening. The account Better than the Harfoots. Wait, I'm confused as to where the Southlands is. Is the Southlands Mordor? Yes, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it kind of does. Why would you write that down? In the event of defeat, ah, yes. Sauron was like, hmm, my god might lose. I should uh, make a contingency plan. Hands out the world map. Yep. Well, we I'm... already we already know that he succeeds because the Southlands become Mordor. Well, so... yeah, that's kind of the problem. Based... And in that case, it is on the border of goddamn Rune and Kandahar and etc. Like, oh, Kandahar. Khan. Khan? Kar. What's the name of the Eastern Kingdom? No, isn't after the war, though, didn't a bunch of... Uh... People settled there from different regions that fought alongside the elves. Or no? Yeah, no, no. I, not that far, I think. Like that's well beyond the original borders of Gondor. I know. No, Gondor actually occasionally uh, occupied a, per, a fair portion of Mordor. Mm, yeah, but remember, the Black Gate was their fortress. So I don't think they'd be that deep. Wait, why do the hobbits have pterodactyl suits? Uh, there's why do they look like African tribals? Uh, because Dev, it's their cultural heritage. Oh, they even do the dancey thing, like, yep. Nobody 
Imagine doing this for hours. Yeah, like it looks like it's supposed to be a celebration, but you have two lines. Like at that point, it just sounds like indoctrination. Well, or a activist chant. <laughs> Who streets why? are streets? <laughs> you have carts. Like, why is his ankle a problem? This society isn't very uh, intelligent. <laughs> are the hobbits going to be like, okay, if you can't walk, we're not going to carry you. We're not going to put you on a stretcher no. or in a wagon. We're going to leave your ass. Also, please push and pick the goddamn nuts out of your hair. Jesus Christ, why? Oh, now? See, I'm at, I've been at that point for a while where I see their hair and I'm like, that's, that's just stupid. What if? Look, it's all camouflage. It makes sense in the lore, I think. No, no, wait. What, what if they actually... They actually grow in their in their heads because they're for they're forest spirits. So they have like branches growing out of their skulls. God, I hate their hair so much. She's <laughs> independent. Actually, okay, from the back you can kind of see the fake plastic stems. I was almost enjoying myself there for a moment, but now <laughs> we're back here. Strong independent female character barge. Got a problem, Dan? Just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> She's speaking what is her she truth. Wearing? I don't know, whatever shit she rolled in. <laughs> Can you even read? Is that common amongst the Harfoots? The Harfoots have developed a written language, yet they still rely on images. And also, they're writing in books, while the Numenorians still have a bunch of scrolls. <laughs> That's a good point. They have books too, but Only we'll see couple. some scrolls. The, uh, the Harfoots are more technologically advanced than the Numenorians. <laughs> Don't you like how quirky they are? Love it. You know, if I was 10, I would have really enjoyed that scene. You would have? Yes. Really? I can see it. As a little kid, I never liked this sort of stuff. But I guess that's the target audience. <laughs> you know, the raging fire and the alcohol somewhat undermines the uh, whole camouflage idea of these people. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the brightly lit encampment. They're stealth. Millions of fireflies they, they probably have to gather. Mm -hmm. They have captured a lot of fireflies. Cultivate them. They just have like firefly farms. Yeah. And this migration, they likewise will be carried with us in our hearts and in our memories. But their broken bodies will be left behind because we're savages like that. <laughs> in life, we will just leave them to death. Wait for this. Oh, hey, it's Sauron. <laughs> you mean Gandalf? <laughs> nope, there's going to be like 80 <laughs> Saurons. I, I like that one. It's like... <laughs> Wolves. Actually, you know what they'll do? They'll they'll make this guy one of the two blue wizards that didn't really have a story. Oh, the blues. Yeah, but they arrived along with uh, the rest of them. Like, they all arrived at the same time. He's a wizard. They're a wizard, Harry. Um, all the Harfoots are right there. Yeah, but uh, they're bees. We all loved him, but he was an Egypt. You got stung a lot, I guess. Oh, she'll notice. They'll laugh because he got stunned to death. Like, hold that close. Uh, yeah, dude, you're burning. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. Yeah. I needed more light to see, okay? I'm really nearsighted. Now, don't mind me as I set fire to the entire encampment and... Uh... <laughs> Oops. Laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> Nori. Everyone's gonna turn their heads towards her, and she's gonna get. How to, dare you? She's gonna get exiled. A it's gonna be like a a Princess Mononoke thing where she's thrown out of the tribe, eh? Oh, Shell, this gang. They they really will <laughs> will not wait for her. Oh my god, can we go back to the sea people already? They're doing Frodo, guys. Can you feel it? It's Frodo. Femdo. Femdo? 
Sauron, sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, blue wizard sad. That's actually just me looking at my monetization. Past is dead. Hey, they're talking about the franchise. Are they? Yeah, the past is dead. Oh, jeez. Do it if you have to. I didn't pick up on it. It's too late. It's too late in the evening. Symbolism. Titties. That's quite the statue, Jesus. Your people have no king. For you are him. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they're just going to do the Aragorn story again. I don't want to be the king. I'm a reluctant hero. Not Sauron. Aragorn. No, Sargon. <laughs> also, are we Literally just Sargon. questions as to how Galadriel just walked into jail? Like, there's no guard stopping her. She's just fine. She's got the right to do this now. Listen, Arch, the elf seal unlocks a lot of doors, okay? Ooh. Maybe it will actually be Saur Sauragon. <laughs> and he'll be, like, d mentally conflicted, like, should I be Sauron? Hmm. It's like, I really like Galadriel, though, like, a lot. Yeah, Galadriel convinces him to become Sauron. That'd be my mildly funny. Actually, like, you have to be king. Do I? Yes. Okay. If that'll win you over, does it? I don't want to be with you anymore. What the fuck, woman? Like, you're evil now. Jesus. Woman. I try not to think about how impractical this city is. I try not to think about it, but I can't help it. Listen, it was basically built by gods, okay? They've got skills. Fair enough. Ah, more I like schools. some of the sets in Numenor, though, at least. Five sticks. Hey, the mm. scrolls things is starting to annoy me, too, because they've got the ridiculously high-level architectural skills, but scrolls. Yeah, scrolls are a bit more primitive. I'm almost expecting them to have wax tablets. Oh, not the Harfoots. Uh, stealthy caravans. <laughs> I'd rather have the Black Elf, actually. I love these things. They're just, they're like, how do we make it stealthy? We'll put, like, leaves on it. Nobody will ever see it moving. Oh, are you going to leave a trail for the Brandy Books? Ah, yes. Make the guy with the broken fucking legs pull the cart. Brilliant idea. They may as well have exiled them. Fuck it. This time, get get animals. Get a horse, man. Oh, it's a giant. It's Sauron. He's going to help him drag the cart. I mean, Blue Ron. It's like, use him as slave labor. <laughs> Maybe be more... Holy He's actually God. kind of cute in, like, lost puppy kind of way. <laughs> like a lost giant puppy. He's the only character of interest in this arc, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, they are suspiciously okay, uh, white, aren't they? And they're okay, wearing explain white, why they too. hate. Oh, shit. I'll explain why they hate uh, sunlight, because they got no melanin. Mm. The sizzling. Oh, it burns very conveniently now, not earlier, <laughs> though. Have you considered using bows, maybe? Uh, oh, oh. No, throwing weapons. I mean, that works, too. Ah, good old-fashioned tug-of-war. <laughs> They're just tug-of-warring. Okay. Fucking exhilarating. Don't cut them down with your weapons or anything. Just pull them towards you. Was that oh, easy? No. So, did orcs always burn from sunlight? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. They Except for the orcs. Like because Saruman's Urukai are special. Right. That's why they made a big deal about it. Woofers. Uh, it's a varg, but it looks dumb. Oh god, it does look dumb. It does look <laughs> dumb, yes. What the fuck is wrong with that? What the fuck is <laughs> with that thing? <laughs> That's some bog bog? Bog park, attack! Oh Jesus. It's like a chihuahua. I do like how they just <laughs> let her die, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, That's so wow, fucking incompetent. Oh, don't worry, Black Elves are the rescue. Oh, I saw Legolas do this once. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> what is that thing's face? Forget about the chain, just stab his ass. Like so. You stabbed him with a branch. Oh, hey. 
Wouldn't it be cool if the other orcs had bows and arrows too? I didn't expect that. Like, no. how did they think there wouldn't just be guards up above the trenches? Bring him to Adan. Now, why? Because he's the main character, Kyle. You can't just kill him. Fuck. Because it makes sense for them. I mean, not they killed everybody that. else, but not him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we need like a reveal of Idar here. And this oh, is gonna be Sauron. They're all no, just no, Sauron. No. <laughs> this is a red herring. Like this is too obvious. Yeah, Adar is like a, com a sub commander or something like that. Yeah. He's an elf. Yeah. He's a motherfucking elf. Yeah, there's the way he's a Sauron. And there ends the episode. He's a fucking elf. Wow. Well, didn't like... hold on. D didn't Sauron appear to the elves as a fellow elf? In fact, Kibs, stop it, Kibs. Stop what? The preview of episode four. Okay. I stopped it just in time. Okay, so yeah, that was episode three. What did, what did y'all think? I mean, it was better than one and two. That's that true. Actually, happened. This is kind of the uh, House of the Dragon problem as well, where. You start in the middle of the goddamn story. Like, episode one and two was practically pointless. Very little was established other than introducing the characters, which could have been done in an hour. Easy. Yep. Now, finally, the ball is rolling, and, I mean, it's better, because something is happening. That's true. Yes, I, I agree. I like what they're doing with Halbrand. He's the most interesting part of the show now, is Halbrand. Yep. You, know, you know what's happening here? You know what this show has turned into? Hmm. hmm. It's turned into a five billion dollar production of Find Wally, as we were like, "This is Sauron. That's Sauron." <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, <It's> Sauron. <laughs> what if, what if the big twist by the end of the season is that all of these plot lines are happening at different time periods, and they're all yep. Sauron? That's what I was suggesting earlier. Like, I oh. would not be surprised. It, like in one of the other ones, the Southlands already fallen, and they don't See, know it yet. Yep. The thing is, like, I actually wouldn't mind that because if they manage to do it subtly, it can actually be a rather clever twist. Like, oh, yeah, look, these are all my machinations, right? You know, I am Sauron. I've done all of this. Uh, but mm, are they that clever, though? No. Well, I guess we will see. We didn't get any Elrond this time. No, no dwarves. El no Elrond, no dwarves. Honestly, this is probably for the best. The other episodes having all of the story arcs intermixed was a disaster, in my opinion. Because it was just, and then, then, and then, and then, and just like, and this group, and then now this group's doing something. Stuff actually happens when we actually focus an episode on only a couple arcs at a time. It needed more focus, certainly. So yeah. if the show slows yeah. itself down and gives like, okay, this episode's dedicated to these two groups of characters rather than jumping around all the time. The Harfoots are I'm still an incredibly unnecessary element. Yeah, the only interesting thing the Harfoots have going isn't the Harfoots, it's the it's the dude, the big dude, tall dude. It's He's Blue Ron. Character. It's just here's the thing though. Of the last time we did this, the most interesting part of of that first video that we did was um was Durin. So it's kinda of sad not to see him again. He'll get his own yeah, episode but next. Yeah, probably. Again, if they're going to slow it down and focus, then maybe we'll get more dude in next episode. Because this this was Black Elf, Harfoots, and Galadriel's arcs. And nothing really happened with the Black Elf. Like, okay, he's a slave. And they had like a failed revolt. Let's go. Like, oh. See, the problem with the Black Elf storyline is... Now I get to see seems... Adar. Yeah, right at the end. Is. Yeah, right at the end. They just kind of hint it. Yeah. This is the issue. The Black Elf storyline hasn't done anything. It's still at the exact same spot. Like, what reason do we have to give a shit about his adventures? Shows the fate of the Southlands what it's going to do. That's my my theory. And it's going yeah. to also show us Adar, whoever this guy is. Well, that's true. I guess because Galadriel's talking about the Southlands. Oh, that's what it is. It's actually going to be Mordor in the future. And his story arc takes place there. So it's going to be more about the location, less about him. That's the thing, though. One of the brilliant things about Lord of the Rings was that it told you a lot of things without explaining them in detail. It, it made them mysterious. Like, they were talking about, you know, dark things. I don't know if we need to see the Southlands fall. Because otherwise yeah, but it's wouldn't not going to be a mortar. 
more interesting if the people in the Southland just went quiet or something. Instead of having this, where it's a black elf going like, ah, well, I'm here. And Ty Gaddison of elves overrun instantly off screen. Where they just like, I mean, clo they, they like, close the gates and then like all communication stops and then it's like, what the fuck happened over there? And it's like a mystery. Yeah, but the issue and is I am that's not, I am not a fan of the elf garrison because that that was the problem. How the hell do you have this band of randos overtake an elf garrison? Well, you don't, so you just don't. We just don't show it. The problem is, is we should, in my opinion, story wise, we should see the Southlands fall and learn a little bit of how it falls. But the execution is so bad that we're better off not seeing it because they did <laughs> it so poorly. Well. Kibbs, the execution is so bad we're better off not watching the show. That's true. Not seeing any of it at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what else I, if I have to say about it. Like, it's... The first two episodes, we, we could nitpick to shit because there was so much wrong with it. But this one, it's like, oh, it's turned into, like, competent TV. And it being competent means it's like, oh, well, it's there. It's, it's committing the cardinal sin. It's no longer so bad, it's good. It's Now it's just, it's just mediocre. The issue is, the this is after two hours. Like, we are three hours into a TV show now, mm -hmm. and we have just finally been introduced to the scenario. When it comes to the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition, that's like 12 hours of of stuff yep. you can watch. At the three-hour oh, mark, at, at the three-hour mark, where are you? You're basically at the part where they are, they're, they're exiting Moria. Yes. That's what I thought, too. It'd be, it'd be around the exiting Moria than getting into um, Galadriel's realm. A shit ton has happened at that point in the story. Yep, there's. you could talk about it for hours, honestly. All the stuff that happened, all the nuances of what happened in Moria, all, you uh, know, Frodo and them and the, the forming of the Fellowship. In this show, at the three-hour mark, we've, we've basically just left the Shire. Yeah. This slow pacing hasn't benefited the show. Like... I care no more about uh, Black Elf now than I did three hours previously. Yeah, honestly, we could cut out... Honestly, the, uh, episode one, A Shadow of past, uh, the Past, and episode two, Adrift, cut those two out and then skip to three. There's, like, there's, there's skip so to little... Skip three, slap <laughs> on 10, 20 minutes of exposition, like, have the elves... You know, they're having a happy day, you know, they're just doing their shit. Then the orcs sneak in, uh, ambush them, drag them away. I mean, skip the boat entirely. Just have her be on Numenor, on, um, on Numenor? Numenor, yes. Yeah, for some reason. Because yep. the entire part of that is just dumb. Like, the swim home part is the stupidest thing I've seen in television in a long time. He just starts swimming off into the horizon, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> If it wasn't for plot armor, she'd just be dead, 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 yep. immediate, <laughs> no yep. survival. Fish. But then again, I mean, if Numenor is, is barred from the elves, how do you get her there? Oh, you, you have to get, you have to oh. get there by, by circumstance. How do you do that? Oh, with the shipwreck. How do you get her into a shipwreck? Well, the only time we know that the elves actually do any sort of sailing is when they're going off to, to their homeland. So you, so you got to get her on one of those boats. So how do we do that? Oh, we got to honor her somehow. And then, like, you, you can follow you, you can follow it's their logic back, contrived. but it's all just contrived. And the problem, too, is the, the Numenor storyline has been so ridiculously spent. Like, the fall of Numenor is supposed to be the fall of Numenor. It's supposed to be the slow corruption of the people against the Valar and against the elves. But not only have we skipped that, we've gone past it to the point now that they have instituted an ethno-state that hates all <laughs> non-Numenorians. I mean, we're not even talking about the lore inconsistencies now, because uh, oh you could get started <laughs> there and never stop. Don't be a racist, right. Arch. Yeah. Like, th this is just the story we're talking about here. Like This could be done a lot better. And I, I feel like maybe they're, they're resting on the idea that this is going to be a five-season thing and that this will be something epic and people won't mind the first two hours, but... At the same time, if the Fellowship of the Rings was just two hours of Frodo fucking about in the Shire, would anyone watch it? No. I, I mean, so. I'd watch that over this. <laughs> <laughs> but not very much. I'm but guessing a... that they're trying to take, like, oh, we're in a TV show. Let's just take the extra time we have. But then yep. <laughs> they run into risk of just boring people. 
Yeah. They are definitely I, I guess this. I guess I would rather there be more than than too much than too little. Are you sure about <laughs> that though? Because you can definitely get too much. Fair enough. I, I feel like we, we we've been getting a bit much with the Harfoots. Yeah. Oh, the fucking Harfoots. <laughs> They're not going to go away, that's the worst part. Yeah. Like, fuck. the Harfoots are just unbelievably uninteresting. Like, they have no role in the story. They shouldn't be here. The <laughs> only reason they're there is because the showrunners were so blinded by the established thing that had gone before. It's like, we must have Hobbits. We can't have Hobbits. The Hobbits didn't exist. We must have Hobbits. Oh, they need to d d d detach themselves from the fact that they have to be like the Lord of the Rings movies. Because by doing that, they're shackling themselves to the idea that they're competing to be that that thing that was so good and so they're and already setting themselves up for failure yet at the same time though they're not adopting any of the positive aspects of the movies Goodness. and the goddamn Vardic pup why does that, that thing, thing exist that looks that, okay. in the uncanny valley it's not scary <laughs> yeah. it's <a> dumb look <laughs> that that had some weird cg going on with it so, something like, something wasn't right there let's spend some extra hours in the bakery yeah, I mean, I don't know what the heck they were thinking. The Vargs from the Lord of the Rings, like the original trilogy, yeah, they're they're like hyenas crossed with like some sort of horse thing. But you know what? Whatever. It looks all right. These things, or that thing, I don't know what the heck that was. It did not look right. It looked a little derpy. Well, a pug Varg. <laughs> it did look like a pug. pug it had the bulging eyes, too. Man, it, it did not look healthy. If you spend a billion dollars in the show and you're going to, you know, work a dozen VFX artists to death every single day to get it out, you got to make it look better than that. But obviously yeah. they didn't work enough VFX artists to death, Dev. That's Shit. true. She got a point. That, we we got to sacrifice more South Koreans. The city scenes themselves don't look half bad, but that Varg, oh, that was pain to look at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's it's two a.m. and I gotta edit this before going to bed. And Arch, you're probably ready to collapse. So it's it's time, isn't it? It's time to wrap it up for today. Fun and games. Yeah. Fun and games. So we'll be back again next week for more of this nonsense. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. Yep. And thank you. I wish I could say uh, it was a pleasure, <laughs> but. We're Thanks watching, but, but, but we're watching Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. So, it is what it is.